What's your favorite story from when you were young, like a young player, where some veteran did veterans did something for you or a young team and showed you, like, like you just did with Connor, right? Like, yeah. what, what, what's a good story from, oh, from your man. past? When I'm putting you on the spot. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I, I was just lucky that like I, I came in when I came in the Ottawa Senators they had just had come off the uh, Stanley Cup Finals against Anaheim so Corey was the Stanley Cup champion already um, <laughs> but uh, I just remembered like I was a young kid by a, a lot and back then the league was you know, 19 and then the next closest guy I think was 24 25 so it was a big age gap and um, you know and just the way they made you feel like they they really genuinely brought me into the group they you know Daniel Elvison who's the captain of the team way big age difference between me I think it was like almost close to 20 years or whatever it was he was 35 at the time um, you know and then kind of like Connor and I now where he just he he related to you you know and they they make you feel like all right they're just guys and they get to know you a little bit then make you understand too that the, the pro game and understanding what it is to be a pro showing up every day I remember Alfie I had a really good game one game and the next day at practice I you know was riding high so you're kind of lackadaisical in some things and he snapped me right back into it he said hey one good game doesn't make a career and so you start to learn like okay you got to do it over and over again and, and talk about a guy uh, as consistent as him in, in the league and um, so those are the things you remember and appreciate that they, you know, when they're giving you this information, it's not to pound their chest, it's to, to, it's to help, you know, and I think if you can take it that way, it's, it's amazing how much you can soak up as a young player and even as an older player. And I talk about now, I get to learn from young guys, like what, the way they come in and, you know, it's a lot different than when we came in. So mm -hmm. it's, it's really cool how you just never stop learning and uh, I think that's what makes great teams. What are your impressions of Luke so far? About that's a week awesome. in the camp. Yeah, I mean, I played with him, so that was that's a pretty funny situation. <laughs> um, I remember actually walking into the room when I was 19, and I saw Luke, and he looked at me and goes, "I gotta f and retire." That's what I said. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Um, so. It's cool that uh, you know I get to work with him again because I respected him so much. He was already like a coach that year, and um, so to see him now and, and to see the opportunity that he's getting that he's deserved in the league is, is really cool. And I just think he's he's so detailed. He cares a lot about the group, and um, you know he's a guy that I respect, and I know that he's got our best interests at heart. You know, and I think that when you have a coach like that, you really you want to play well for him, and I think it just makes your group come come that much together. So uh, I'm looking forward to getting going with him. You mentioned learning from the young guys. Obviously, it's really, really early here, but have you learned anything kind of in this early goings from Connor then? Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I just like the, their – like Connor was – extremely upset he lost today which I love <laughs> honestly I was like looking at him he's like kind of pouting over there and I I just love that you know like yeah you know if everything matters right especially in training camp and so you already you're already seeing kind of the the competitive nature of some guys and you know how guys come into the room and how they act and carry themselves and um, I've been really impressed with Reichel you know and, and just the way he is I think he's got a ton of confidence and realizes he can he can play in this league you know and I think the, the little taste he had last year has really springboarded him into to dominating this year and uh, I'm excited for that and you just keep trying to help those guys along but you know it's it's cool I, you know, another kid is Kaiser I mean what a, what a great kid he's he is and Vlasic and I could probably go around the room I've been really impressed with the the attitudes and the the professionalism of the young kids and so it speaks volumes about even the group last year and, and helping those kids along through a tough year they've, they've come in and and just really gotten to work and realized the opportunity probably in, in front of them and uh, and want to make the most of it so hopefully we can help them along